Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name's Corbin. I make Animal Crossing videos at least two or three times a week. But in today's video we're doing um I just want to give some like some tips to like some new people coming in because I know um a lot of new people come into Animal Crossing and in case you're like, oh, I just got this game but I don't know what to do. What can I I need some help? Well, I'll give you some tips here. So let's get right into it. Okay, so my first tip is to choose your map wisely, because I see a lot of people, including myself, make this mistake. Because I go on there and I'm like, oh, this map looks good, let me just choose it. But I don't pay attention to like, how far like, the resident services is, or like where the river mouths are placed, because you can't change those. Like, you can't like terraform them differently or anything, you're just stuck with it. And you can't like move the resident services. Say you're, um, like your airport and resident services are really, really close by, you can't change that. So I, and another thing is, when you like choose your map, make sure to like walk around to see if you like it because you can't change where the rivers are at, like the river mouths. You can change the river and all that. Like you can totally change that. But just make sure you like like how the distance between your resident services and the airport because you literally can't change that. Okay, so another tip I have is to put all your flowers on the beach because trust me, when you're like designing like you want to move stuff or you want to terraform it's so nice to just have your flowers out of the way and same with like um like your weeds make sure to pick all those unless you want to like use them with your like island theme but just make sure to put all your flowers in the beach because trust me it's gonna get so much easier because you can like one they don't spread across your whole island so you don't have to spend 30 minutes digging them up and two um like if you want to move a building or like you want to say put a like one of the in-game paths or even custom path just say you want to like put like a path like um say a path from your airport to resident services if there's flowers in the way you can't do that but if they're all on the beach you wouldn't really have to worry about it okay so another tip i have for you is to um shake all your trees because every day because you can get up to 15 bell drops so like little like bells of all the tree there are only 100 bells each but that's a thousand five hundred bells just from shaking your trees and you get five wasps i think yeah five wasps and that's 7,500 bells. Like, who would pass out on 7,500 bells? Especially if you're, like, working on paying off your loan or something like that. So just make sure to do that. And you can get two furniture. So if you're trying to get to, like, three stars or maybe even five, two furniture is going to help. Because that, say you did it for a week, that'd be 14 furniture in a week. So just make sure to shake your trees. And you get a little achievement. Like, um, for the wasp one, you get, like, a little achievement. So, if, you, if you're, like, a completionist like me, you probably want all the Nook Miles achievements. So, if you just catch five wasps a day from shaking your trees, then you'll get a little achievement for it. Okay, so this is probably the most important achievement. I can't stress enough. Every single, like, bug, like, new bug or fish you catch, please donate it to Blathers. Because I've made this mistake, and I'm literally, like, three bugs away from putting my whole Craterpedia, and I just forgot to donate one. So, like, please just... Please donate them. Um, you don't want to be like me and be three away from cl completing your bug section in your Critterpedia. It really sucks because then you can't get the golden net or anything like that. So please, just donate all the bugs and fish you catch. Another very important tip is to um, give your villagers like gifts. Like if you say you wrap up like an apple and then put it in like a little gift bag thing, just give that to your villagers and then there's a chart. There's five friendship levels. One's like you're not really friends. Two, you're getting there. Three, you're pretty good friends. Four, you're best friends. And then five, like that's when you get the photo. And um, that's the only way you can get your villagers' photos. So, um, like if you're, like I was saying before, if you're a completionist, you're gonna want all your villagers' photos. Especially if Nintendo isn't gonna give us any more updates. We at least that's something for us to do. So just remember to give your villagers photos and you can get like special reactions like they'll teach you like um like you know the one where you spin and like put your hands like in the air that one's like a special reaction there's a ton of other special reactions that you get but just remember to gift your villagers okay so this is a more um beginner tip but just it's still good to put in the video because like i was saying there could be someone who literally just got the game and knows nothing about it so every day you'll get five fossils to spawn in your island they'll look kind of like little stars um and make sure to dig those up and donate them because blathers has like a whole fossil exhibit and everything and like once you get complete you get like a special reward so just make sure to dig up your fossils every day all you need is a shovel and then you just press a on where the fossil is but just make sure to dig up your fossils every day and donate them to blathers 
Okay, so another good tip that I know I messed up on in the game, I didn't know about this, but make sure to um, dig a hole behind your rocks before you um, hit them. Because if you don't, you can get up to 8 pieces out of the rock. You can get iron, clay, iron, or gold nuggets, stone, all that. But that's all you need for, like, um, to basically play the game. Because you got, like, to, like, craft stuff and everything. But, um, make sure, um, to put two holes behind it, be or else it'd, like, shoot you back. So you just gotta have a lot of momentum. So just make sure to put two holes behind it, and then just keep spamming, like, the button until, um, you get all 8 of the pieces. Okay, another very, very useful tip. Well, it's not really a tip, but... what? Well, yeah, it is. I don't know what I'm saying. It's a tip. Your storage can actually get full. Because I know when in the beginning you're going to want to, like, store everything. But I learned this out the hard way. Your storage can get full. So don't, like, shove, like, a bunch of stuff. Like, I'd say... Well, I don't know. Just don't shove. Like, if you pick up weeds in your island, make sure to sell those. Don't pop into your storage. Same with, like, um... Like tree branches, you don't really need a ton of those, so maybe just get like 30 and put them in your storage. But just don't like max up your storage too much because they can get full. Okay, another great tip is that you can only have 10 villagers on your island because um, when like Tom Nook says you can place land to sell, don't max it out all quick because um, you only have 10 on your island. So you want to get some that like you like so you can go on a villager hunt and stuff like that. But you'd only have 10, that's the max. So once you hit 10, you cannot get any more. You're just stuck with what um with what you have. So just make sure to choose your villagers villagers wisely because you only have 10 of them. And you can also go villager hunting. This is kind of like a two-in-one. One, you can only have 10 villagers on your island, but you can also go villager hunting. So with the Nook Miles tickets, um, you can buy multiple of those, but um and you can go villager hunting for all your favorite villagers. So like say you want Judy or you want Meringue or Flora. Um, you can go villager hunting for them, but keep in note, you can only have your plot open for one day or it's gonna auto-fill. Auto-filling is when the game, like, fills it in for you. So, if you are gonna go villager hunting, you have to get it done in one day. Okay, that is me it for today's video. I hope y'all learned something new with all these tips, but if you're not already, make sure to subscribe. It's crazy. We're only, like, 150 away from 1,000, which is crazy. I am gonna be doing, like, a little face reveal at 1k. So just make sure to subscribe and like the video if you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, y'all!